Hey guys, welcome to CR and Tidzana is Chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to do creative hard surface modeling. So just add a plane and we will form something amazing curve hard surface modeling which is the mostly like a subdivision surface modeling and we may see some curve shapes on that particular model. So that's why you just you need to add a plane, select these words and then add a bevel on these words, just a simple step. Because this kind of hard surface modeling needs a right edge flow and then you can get those curvy shape. You can see such kind of models in a make uh, mostly hard surface characters. If you want to build our vehicles, if you want to build any vehicles then you should follow the right edge flow and that, then you will get those curves on your models. So just you need to create something good with the right topology with the right edge flow so just add a loop cuts like this and you can see now here I want to create one more time the chord based topology which is necessary sorry for the background noise and you can see I have created the chord based topology right there so just add a loop cuts one loop cut here one loop cut here and Try to figure out what you want to get at the final result, which product you want at the end result. So just add a lattice modifier there and then add a lattice here. And now we will create a bend on our mesh. So that's why you need to scale your lattice, shift A and add a lattice and then increase its size, then select your mesh and then select that lattice modifier in your modifier tab then you can increase the resolution according to your shape of the lattice so you will find this option in the lattice property make sure the size of the lattice should be little bit bigger than your mesh and now just you need to move these words as per your curve shape so just move these words then you can add a curve on your mesh so you can deform your mesh without losing its topology and its edge flow then just you can apply the slightest modifier and you will get much more better shape right there then add a subdivision surface modifier and now you need to add a loop cuts supportive edges which are very important so before that just select these edges and then extrude it and just start to create the shape it's totally depend on your creativity and how you can tweak your mesh that's most important so that's why I like to use the reference images, lot of reference images. I can say tell you some of the hard surface artists names like uh, Mike and Trunish, then Vitali Bergloa. Then if you want to, if you want to think about the character artist like uh, which has great uh, knowledge of the anatomy, this is also important for the hard surface artist because this make and other kind of hard surface characters. You should know the right anatomy, right topology because currently I am learning the zebras uh, for the character because I want to get uh, in the hard surface character so that's why I am learning the zebras and first of all I need to learn the human anatomy. So that's why these are the amazing artists. You should follow them, you will find their profiles on the art station, their portfolio, just visit the art, art station every day and you will get lot of references, lot of ideas and you can put your reference images while modeling in front of you and you can improve a lot with those reference images. So that's why you need those reference images. So whatever I am currently modeling in this tutorial. This is just a simple my imagination and my observation. You can see how I'm tweaking this uh, shape. So just select this edge and then start to create the shape with this simple mesh. 
and design sense is also important so that's why you need to learn the design principles so this kind of shape you can find on any hard surface character if you want to make the sci-fi armor for your hard surface character that's time you need this kind of shapes which will be like organic modeling but organic hard surface you can say for say to it so you can see the curvedness on this mesh and we can sculpt this in a zbrush or in a blender blender is amazing software so you can sculpt it in a blender and then you can recreate it uh, with the polygon modeling like uh, this you can recreate with the right topology and in the production workflow same thing happen so if you want to make any character hard surface character then you have to uh, sculpt it in uh, any sculpting software like uh, Blender, ZBrush and Murbox. In the production work, most of the studio do their work in the ZBrush but you can and there are also studios who, which like to use the Blender for the sculpting. So you have to sculpt the soft, uh, sculpt your model, sculpt your character or any hard surface piece and then you need to come to your one more time to the modeling software and you have to recreate it with the right topology. So after creating the right topology, if you want more details on that mesh, then you uh, one more time you need to switch to the sculpting software, then you can add more details on it and then you can bake those details. If you want more damage or scratches on your model, then you can create those in the ZBrush or a Blender, any sculpting software and then you can bake those details on your low poly mesh. So you can see here I have just used the norm, uh, knife tool and I have created the simple cuts. Just uh, merge the double words. If you merge them, then you won't face any difficulty later. So that's why you need to merge the double words and we will think about the edge flow a little bit and the right topology. Just first get your design which is important. So add a cuts with the knife tool, simple. Not too complex, just select one point, select second point and then press enter. That's much easy to creating the cut but here you need a design sense. That's why you need observation. You can observe the real life hard surface, which is the most important thing if you want to learn the hard surface. Observe your surrounding. You can find n number of hard surface models in your surrounding and just observe them. Just find their shape and try to understand their shape, form, their curves and think how can I model this kind of hard surface in Blender with the topology, right topology, with the sub-D modeling. Think about it. So now here I have just selected this edge and then you need to add a bevel on this edge. So just select this edge and then you need to add a bevel. And then you can take extrude inside this, press uh, B, uh, sorry, just give the right amount for your bevel, width, give the right bevel width and then you need to just read extrude inside. And you need to create a uh, good mesh so you have to observe your surrounding so you can find lot of ideas which is most important thing your observation is very important so just you need to select these faces and then inside before that you need, just need to delete this faces like this uh, outer edge faces so you can delete them so just select these fa faces and then delete them and you can see I face a little bit of problem there I use the insert operation before deleting those faces so here you have to use press B while in using the insert operation if you don't if you want to avoid that border so before that just uh, delete this outer side faces and then after selecting these faces you can select these face loops and take the symmetry if you want to reduce your efforts so just select these face loops 
and now you need to press the I to insert. So just to press I to insert and So now you just need to create the right topology which is like a tricky part in the sub D hard surface modeling to creating the right topology, right edge flow, then you will get the right shape. So that comes with the practice. You have to practice a lot if you have to understand the topology and the edge flow and its different aspects like poles, then the words how should be the words, uh, how to give the right position for them if you want to make, make any curve then how should be the edge flow uh, you can work only with the chords triangles are fine but you have to avoid the polygons you can go with the chords and triangles but try to maintain the more chords if it's not possible if you have a triangle on a curve then it, you might face a little bit of difficulty but if you have that same triangle based topology on a flat surface you won't face any difficulty so it is uh, total dip, it is also depend on your shape now you can see i got much more better topology right there so i just need to re-edit it a little bit so you can see there are i'm trying how can i create the right topology you have to find out the weights and it will take a little bit of time definitely
now we just don't need to select these faces and I have used a simple loop tool to create a whole kind of shape here that circular shape so you just you can use the loop tool and then you can adjust its scale to make that uh, circle to create a circle boolean and that's not difficult So just you have to find out the solutions, how you can improve your modeling, how you can improve the details of your model. So that's the part. So just select this face, then I to insert, and then extrude inside. That much is enough, then scale it down like this. Press I to insert, and then one more time, extrude it out. And now you can scale it down like this, press S for that and press i to insert now you can see our mesh looks pretty well if you are facing a little bit of difficulty with the edge floor and like that you are not getting the proper k uh, curve shape on your mesh then then you just need to move your words a little bit here and there that's the simple thing so just add a supporting loop curves wherever you want a tight edge so there you can definitely add uh, one loop cut, extra loop cut and then you can move these loop cuts like you can use the edge slide. So that's totally depend on your process of modeling. And now our mesh looks decent and we have done the decent kind of hard surface modeling here. Which looks pretty well. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.